Hi dear friends, welcome to my channel. This is my first video. I hope you will like this. First of all, sorry for the audio. The audio recorded in camera didn't come out well. So I had to do a voice over. In this video, I am going to unbox and share my first impressions about Photo Pro UFO 2 tripod that is designed for GoPro, smartphones and point and shoot cameras. Please note that this is not a paid endorsement. I purchased this product myself for my own use. So I thought of sharing my experiences for the viewers who are interested in purchasing this product. I am sharing my first impressions about this product. My opinions might not be the same after using quite some time. If my opinion changes, I will make another video on the same product after using for 6 months. Without any further delay, let's unbox this product. When I received the product, it was packed well and delivery was fast. I received the product the next day of ordering it. This is the Photo Pro UFO 2 Bendy Tripod. Inside the box comes the Bendy Tripod, a cell phone mount with two points of connection and a GoPro mount. This is a budget friendly tripod. This costed me 1280 Indian rupees. I bought this product from the link in the description box below. It's a great cheap alternative to the more expensive Joby Gorilla Pod. But some of the features that are present on Gorilla Pods are absent on the Photo Pro UFO 2. I will come to that later. The first thing you will notice is that this tripod is extremely flexible. When compared to the Joby Gorilla Pod, the legs of this tripod can be wrapped all the way around. It can be kept in whatever way you want and can be wrapped even on small poles and rails. This will help UFO 2 to take time lapse by wrapping on really thin fences. Whether standing on a flat surface or you are working with a bit of incline, you can easily adjust its legs. Not only the legs are flexible, the legs feel extremely strong. The tripod comes with locking legs which makes me feel that it's more sturdy. It also comes with a standard 1 inch ball lockable with a plastic knob and a quarter inch universal screw base plate which can be used to mount your camera or phone. The ball head allows you some freedom to find you the perfect angle and then once you find it you can use the knob to lock it in place so that your phone or camera won't move this piece of the base plate is adjustable so if you have a camera with a shallower point of contact you can actually screw the camera on tight and you don't have to worry about any gap the smartphone mount is adjustable from 2.2 inches to 3.5 inches this adapter will fit most smartphones you will also notice that the smartphone adapter has two quarter inch threads on two separate sides which allows you to capture both horizontal and vertical photographs and videos. They also included a GoPro adapter which, which also has the same quarter inch thread to easily screw onto the tripod. Since this tripod does not have a detachable base plate or mount, it will be difficult to use if you are planning to change cameras or if you want to change the tripod while you are recording. But for the price point that we pay, this is ok. This can be altered using a small accessory. The max load for this tripod mentioned by the manufacturers is 800 grams. But in my experience, this can easily take on the weight of my DSLR with kit lens. Using this tripod for vlogging is certainly possible. If you are walking like this all day long, this setup is extremely comfortable. I had no issues with this. Due to the rubber coating on the legs, there is very good grip while handling the tripod. I didn't have any worries about dropping or slipping out of my hand. The rubber grip is cushioned, so holding it for a long period of time is not a problem. At the bottom are the rubber feet to ensure that tripod does not tip over when it's standing up. 
So in conclusion, is this tripod worth the money? If you are using a full frame DSLR, it's better to go for a more sturdier, more robust Gorilla Pods because it can hold more weight. If you are using a crop sensor DSLR with smaller lens or if you are using a mirrorless camera then this may function well. If you are using more heavier lens with crop sensor DSLRs then this is definitely going to tip over. But the best type of camera for this tripod is a point and shoot camera and the smartphones. This is a mini gorilla pod killer. If you are a point and shoot camera user or a smartphone camera user and you are looking for an ultimate tripod then you should definitely pick up a photo pro ufo2 bendy tripod this thing is great i wish if they develop more steadier tripods for dslr this was my honest review about the photo pro ufo2 tripod i hope you liked this video thank you for watching if you have any comments or suggestions please do let me know in the comment section below do like share and subscribe so that you will get notification when i upload an amazing video next time do like share and subscribe to my channel so that I, you will get notifications whenever i upload a video the next time see you all in the next video bye bye